welcome to Sister Dale's. Today we are at the Stevenson house. Oh hi. Today we're gonna turn this into this. A candle. And how we do that is we dip these wicks into the tub of wax, which is cooling down. And you have to dip them about 95 times. If they start out like this, you dip them on, this is like maybe 20 times dipped. And then this is probably like 80 times dipped. And these ones are done, and they're stuck together. So then what you have to do is, here are the scissors. You cut them. Scissors are sticky. The wicks, the wicks are really long, but you cut those. This pot is too small to dip them straight in, so you have to kind of angle them so that they don't bend. Some of, and the first couple dips, you have to dip them in and then straighten them out, see, because they're bended together, so if you just left them like that, eventually they'd mold together and there would be a, a big lump right there. So today we're doing a time lapse of us dipping candles, and it takes hours, literally, to dip, to get to this far. And when you get to this far, then you cut off the like the ends of them because the wick doesn't come out in the end until you cut off like this much off of the bottom of the candle. And sometimes you get little drips that you have to cut off. But we can always remelt this. This is a bottle of nubs that I made. <laughs> <laughs> so, hope you enjoy our time lapse of candles. In case you were wondering, the Stevenson House is a historical landmark in Edwardsville, Illinois. Today, we are dipping candles instead of using the molds because the molds are, though they make perfect candles, well, almost perfect candles, they're really hard to get the wax into, and sometimes the wick just pulls out, pull, just pulls straight out of the wax. The candles we dip today will be used in the candlelight tour, the Stevenson House Christmas celebration. They use a lot of candles on that night, so people have to keep making candles all year round just for that one night. Sorry to interrupt, but if you don't want to watch the full, like, five minutes or whatever of candle dipping, you can go to this timestamp. And that will take you to the end of the video for the extra. Whoa. <laughs>
be careful, there are cords. A really big thanks to the Stevenson House for letting us make a video there and for our aunt who helped, who also helped us make a video there. She was the cameraman, camera yes. woman. We wouldn't have been able to figure out how to make candles without her. We probably would have burned ourselves about 15 times. <laughs> probably more than that. Oh yeah. But if you're new to Sister Tales, welcome. I don't think we said that at the beginning. Yeah. Please like, share, and subscribe all our videos. Yes. Like, 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 like. For those of you who saw my timeline video, today, woo, I finished it. Is it showing it? Yeah. Can you see the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, okay. <laughs> so, it's all done. So, there probably won't be any more timeline videos till maybe next semester. Yeah, there may be some more. Whole new timeline for that. We got a queen ant, and we're going to try to get to, this is kind of off topic. Never mind. <laughs> All right, bye everyone. Bye. Three, four, five. Oh, okay. Look at this spatula. Do you see how waxy it is? It's a spoon. I mean, okay, I'll start over. Stop. Because this is used to stir the pot of wax so it doesn't stick to the bottom or burn. It's like you're dipping candles, although with a spoon, it gets more and more waxy. Exactly. <laughs>